Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can start making money by testing websites and applications. Okay. It's money making Fridays. Okay. Yes. So let's get started, guys. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. So, what exactly is QA testing or quality assurance testing? of an application. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's you're testing an application or a website and you're going over a checklist of requirements that this application or website is supposed to be doing. And from there, you're testing to see if it was responsive, if the forms are working, if there's broken links, if there's problem with the SEO, maybe the image tags don't have ALT tags, maybe um, accessibility is not there, right? Um, maybe there's some errors on the JavaScript, right? Um, again, testing it in multiple browsers. So technically just going over an application, just double checking that everything works like it's supposed to. And probably the most important part, which is the reporting, creating reports, explaining what went wrong, what was the problems, right? And basically make it very clear for the developers or the team to know, Hey, this is what needs to get fixed. Okay. And that's pretty much it. And wait, I know what you guys is thinking. Some of you guys, <laughs> yeah, probably like, yo, Joe, but this ain't coding though, right? Why are we talking about Q8 testing and this, this and that? Well, it's money making Fridays. Okay. So I want to let you guys know that this is also a path that you guys can take while you're still trying to apply to companies and you're still trying to make some extra income on the side, right? Again, this is actually a, like a real job or <laughs> a real position that people can apply to. But I also want to let you guys know that you can do this on the side. Now, are you going to be rich becoming a QA tester? No, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. Well, most of the QA testing jobs pay like $50,000 or something like that, or sometimes $60,000, $70,000, depending when you go. Um, it's pretty much entry level work, but again, what's important is to make some side income and giving you guys some ideas, some options of things that you can start building up for your fiber profile or maybe for your Upwork. Um, again, this is something that you can do extra right on the side while you're still getting new clients or getting a new job. Okay. Though what's important to me and, and what should be important to all of you guys is making money. Okay. If you're not making money every single hour, there's something that you're doing wrong. Okay. Uh, just because you're looking for a job doesn't mean that you have to stay without making any type of income. Like, no, that's an excuse. There's multiple ways you can put your skills as a developer to work for you. Even if it's $20 an hour, $30 an hour, $15 an hour is better than $0 per hour. I mean, you tell me what you think. But again, there's a couple of uh, gigs over here on Fiverr that people are doing, right? There's some people that, of course, is going to be racing to the bottom. Hey, man, I will go in and do a QA testing of your Android iOS app or website for, you know, $30, right? $15. You might see some dude from, I don't know, the middle of nowhere and, you know, doing it for $5, right? Again, it's not something that's super difficult to do. So again, don't expect to be getting $100, $150 an hour. It's just not going to happen. All right. Again, this is extra income, extra money that could be coming in that you can do on the side. But you can also demand a reasonable amount of money for your services, depending on how you actually pitch it and also to what you're providing. Now, shout out to Tina S. I saw her on good old Fiverr, right? She has a, a video guy. explaining exactly what she does and, you know, and who she is, right? She's here in the U.S., right? Uh, she does QA testing, et cetera, right? And she also has a couple of different tiers to it. So QA basic package, $50, right? Uh, single browser with three-page summary report, right? Uh, of testing like a website uh, with one main functionality, right? So she's just testing for one thing and she's charging $50 for that um, and, and checking it with one browser. But then from there, she started going, hey, I will check two different browsers. Hey, you want me to check Chrome and you want me to check Firefox? Cool, that's $75. You want me to go in and do maybe uh, Chrome, Firefox, and Edge? Guess what? That's going to be $150, right? And she's going to throw in a couple of extra 
you know, features or extra reporting, right? It's all about how you actually go in and you prepare that for people. Now, when it comes to Upwork, it's a different ball game. You could definitely make more money on Upwork, but again, you have to build up that reputation. You got to get some reviews. So initially you're going to have to do some small projects and small gigs, right? But once you start building that reputation, you could go in and start demanding something like $35 to $70 an hour, right? Estimated time, it could be one to three months of work. Um, again, so it's actually pretty cool. Not that bad, but as you can see, you already have 20 to 50 proposals. Those are the ones that everybody wants, okay? Everybody wants to get a bag, okay? So yeah, there's definitely ways that you guys can make money uh, with QA, I just think that the best way to do it, it's really about creating either a profile on Upwork or on Fiverr, and then from there, going out of your way and specializing on something specific. So for example, maybe you do QA testing for e-commerce brands, right? Um, test their whole funnels, meaning, hey, I'll go in and test your ad, and then from there, test how you guys are having the landing page, right? And then from there, I will go in and test uh, your product landing page, right? Check your cart system, your checkout, right? Talk about speed, talk about, um, you know, is it responsive or not, right? So like literally like niching down into an industry and then from there learning all of their processes and then from there going in and say, hey, uh, this is what I can provide for you. Now, some of the best ways for you guys to find your own clients instead of having to just put it up on, on Upwork and Fiverr is going into Facebook groups, right? And you're going to see me mention this a million times on most of the gigs that we're going to be talking about and ideas to help you guys, you know, start making some money. But literally joining a community, right? It could be for e-commerce, it could be for software as a service, it could be for Shopify app developers, like join one of those communities and let people know, hey man, hey, I'm an expert with uh, QA testing, whatever you guys might need, I'm here for you guys, I work with any budget, okay? And from there, build your reputation and then from there, uh, bring that reputation to the other platforms, right? Have them give you reviews within this platforms and yeah, from there, you're golden, right? Now, again, I, I don't want you guys to think of this as like, I want to be a QA tester, right? Like, hey, I'm switching up from being a developer because all I have to do is just test the, the, the websites and the applications. No, don't do that. <laughs> this is not like the best job, right? I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest. This is not the best job. This is not something that you're going to be creative. This is not something that you'll be like, damn, I'm going to make so much more money if I continue to do this for five, 10 years. No, this is like extra money. This is like, okay, cool. Right now I'm still applying for jobs. I'm still looking for an opportunity or maybe I'm already working, but why not make an extra thousand, two thousand dollars a month so I could put that in the stock market or Maybe I could go in and use that to give myself a really nice vacation for me and my kids. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's an extra income. It's not for you to go in and be like, hey, I want to become a QA tester. Don't do it. <laughs> it's not going to be a fulfilling uh, career. Um, again, there's some people that probably will see this video that are Q te QA testers, and they're going to be like, yo, watch your mouth, bro. <laughs> watch your mouth, bro. <laughs> I love when people do that. When, you know, those we we talking with their fingers like, yo, hold on, bro, on GD, bro. Like, <laughs> watch your mouth, bro. Don't talk. Don't talk like that about QA testers. Now, nah, but it is. It's a dead end job. <laughs> to be honest with you, like, I, to me, it's like a dead end job. It's like there's a definitely a ceiling. It's like okay, you could go only so far, right? You're basically always going to be depending on someone else creating something and then you're coming in and testing it. Like that should let you know there's a ceiling. You're depending on the next person to come up with an idea or to create something. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. All right. Um, but again, hopefully this is something that you guys enjoyed, right? This video. Okay. I'm going to come up with a lot of different ideas, a lot of different things that people are going to bring into the table, right? If you have any uh, other ways that you also have found, uh, let me know, right? Send me an email, codingface at Gmail, and I will go in and make a video and explain it to the people how they could get into it. 
again, we're here. We're a community. We're trying to help each other out, right? Um, again, I'm trying to give you guys some really good content, right? And at the same time, help you out with uh, making some income, you know, because I'm about that bag. <laughs> All right, guys. But yeah, man, you know, if you want to learn how to code, guys, definitely come to codingphase.com. This is the platform for you guys. Okay, learn to code has never been easier, right? Get ready to work for some of the biggest brands. But how do you do that? You need the skills, okay? So we don't focus on the thing that's trending online. We focus on things that's going to get us a bag, right? Either getting a job, freelancing, or start building our own businesses. That's it, right? We don't teach coding as a hobby. I don't do this because I'm like, I wake up in the morning like, yay, we just want to talk about code. No, we're talking about code because we got a purpose. We got a goal. We got an app that we want to create. We want a business that we want to set up. Hey, I want to get to this industry. I want to start working on this company. That's how we go in and we focus on code, but we don't focus on code just to be like, hey, let's create a little Arduino and clap on, clap off. Like, no, I don't care about that, right? Um, but again, we focus on real career paths, content editor, HTML, email developer. Uh, these are the two best ways that you guys can get in uh, quickly into the industry while you're still learning the rest of the skills. So you don't have to wait a whole year till you learn how to do a full stack application. Guess what? As soon as you learn HTML, CSS, let's figure out what type of jobs you can qualify for. Okay. Um, again, you got PHP developer, React developer, Shopify theme developer, XR developer, right? This is a long-term project right here. This is something that um, if you're interested in, you know, creating VR, AR experiences, right? Division pros coming out, you know, next year. This is something that you might want to say, you know, take some time and, and take a look at it. Okay. Uh, but again, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing and make sure you like the video. Leave a comment below. If there's interaction here, it's going to motivate me to continue doing these videos. So let's do it, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.